boys, so we're doing example two. So this one tells us the number of motor vehicle accidents on the M5 motorway each day is recorded. And here's all the numbers of accidents. So it means that one day there was one accident, the next day there was no accidents, the next day there was no accidents, the next day there were two accidents, etc. Okay, so we're going to be drawing a dot plot for this information. That's what they've asked us to do. So I've started by using a ruler to draw a straight line with lots of space above it. So that's what you need to do. Down the bottom, I'm writing down what these numbers are all about. They are the number of accidents on each day. Okay, we could write down the number of motor vehicle accidents on the M5 motorway down here. But because it's written up here already, we don't need to go into that much detail. Number of accidents will do. Now, we look at the smallest number that we have here, which is zero, and the biggest number that we have here is five. So we need to make sure we have a mark for everything starting at zero and going all the way up to five. If you look at what I've done here, you will see that my marks are equally spaced. I used my ruler to do it. That's what you need to do. If you're using your workbook, you've got your grid lines, so you can just use your grid lines. You might want to make a mark every grid square, or if you want to spread it out, you can do it every two squares and make sure they're evenly spaced. So now what we do is get a red pen, cross out the one, and above the one, put a dot. Don't put the dot on the line, it has to be above it, in the air. You've got a grid book, so I would put that dot on the next grid line above it. It keeps it all organised then. The next one is a zero, so above the zero, we're going to put another dot. So you can see that these are being kept in line, so they're organised. So the next one's another zero. So we're going to put another dot on the zero up here. So you'll just be going up to your next grid line mark. All right, the next one's a two. Cross it out and then put a dot above the two. The next one's a zero. Cross it out, put a dot above the zero. Cross out the three. Put a dot above the three, and we keep going like that. Five, one, zero, one, zero. Two, three, and lastly, another zero. And that's our dot plot finished. So now we're going to answer some questions on that dot plot. So the first one up here says, what is the most common number of daily accidents? So we're over here and we're looking for the highest column. So zero accidents was the most common. Which is a good thing because that's the reason that they build the motorway is so that we do avoid accidents. So that should be what's happening. Okay, the next one says calculate the average number of accidents per day correct to one decimal place. So average, some of you may not remember what to do with this, but average is when we add up all our scores, we sum our scores, and we divide by the number of scores. I want you copying it down like this. I don't want you doing it how you did it in primary school. I want it done like this. So you're all going to write down everything I've done on the board exactly. All right, then underneath the equals, you're going to write the equals. Now we have to add up all our scores. So all the scores are here already. You can go from here, or you can go from your dots. All right, I've gone from here, but you could have just gone zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero plus zero. There's nothing to add there. Plus one plus one plus one. 
plus 2 plus 2, plus 3 plus 3, plus 5. Or you can do it the way I've already written it on the board, we're adding them all up. Then we're dividing, I've got a fraction bar, but we're dividing by the number of scores. So if you count these up, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 scores. So we're dividing by 14 scores. All right, so when we add all these up, you'll get 18. There are 18 car accidents on the M5. Okay, and we're dividing by 14. Now, be careful up here. They want your answer to one decimal place. So we're going to do this division, 18 divided by 4. I've just started to set it up. Okay, so it's 18 divided by 4. Now, we want a decimal, so we're going to put a point and then start putting zeros after it. Now, I've put two zeros for the reason that if you're going correct to one decimal place, you need to go to two decimal places so we can round to one decimal place. You need to go one more place than whatever they say there. So normally I would say keep writing zeros, but we're not doing that here because this goes on forever and we don't need to do it. Okay, so we're going to start our division. 14 into 18 goes once, remainder 4. Don't forget to put the decimal point underneath the decimal point. Then we're doing 14 into 40. Now I went over here and just had a bit of a practice. Oh no, I didn't. I think I knew that one. 14 goes into 40 twice. 14 twos are 28. That leaves 12 left over to get to 40. So now we're doing 14 into 120. I don't think I need this one, don't remember that. So 14 into 120, I wasn't really sure how that was going to be, but I just did a practice and thought, I'll see what 14 times 8 gives me. So 4 8 to 32, put the 2 down, carry the 3, and 1 times 8 is 8, and 3 is 11. So 14 times 8 gives me 112, so it does go in 8 times, and we still have more left over, but we don't need to worry about that. Right, so we're just going to stop right there. Now we're going to do our rounding. So we're rounding to one decimal place. So we're going to draw our line after the one decimal place. Look at the next digit. Because that is five or more, this one goes up by one. So this will go up to a three. Copy everything in front and there's your answer. 1.3 accidents per day. When we write per, you can write the word or you can do a slash. 1.3 accidents per day on average on the M5. Okay, and the last question up the top, it says, what is the outlier and why? So you don't have to think, I wonder if there is one. They've said to you, what is it? So they're telling you there is one. So now we come over here and look at our dot plot. Now I told you before for outliers, you need to look for gaps. And here we see a gap. Okay, so that goes, well, here's all our scores, and this one is a bit further away. So it's a very high score. So this is our outlier right here. So it's five. Now they have asked for a reason here, so we're going to write it down. It's because five is much higher than the other scores. So when people are looking at these sorts of things, all right, there's, there are people that work on traffic, mathematicians, people that are really good maths, at maths, and they do have a job of actually looking at what's going on with the traffic every day. So they look at things like which roads are more dangerous, which roads have got more accidents. Is our M5 working for us? All right, so this particular day it wasn't working for us. There was that one day where we had five car accidents. All right, now there might have been a reason for it. It might have been a really busy day on the road and there might have been just more traffic. There might have been more distractions. Maybe there was one car accident and everybody stopped to have a look at that car accident and then they caused another truck car accident. So we're not sure why that day was like that, but something caused it to be higher than normal. 
Okay, so some people have jobs. Their job is actually to look into this sort of thing. Okay, so they're the two examples. We did one where we are just reading off the dot plot and this one where we had to draw it first and then read off our answers. So good luck with your homework. I think you'll find it fine. If you have trouble, come back and look at these videos again.